I am, you know, somewhat drunk. Sodium Lore Royal Sarcosinate. I got it wrong. I just know I did. Oh, I got it right? Oh! <laughs> E-N-T-S, final answer. No! <laughs> my life. I really shouldn't have done this inebriated. I should have done it sober. Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. So I just finished filming my tipsy Q&A video and oh my god. The questions you guys asked were obscene, uh, ridiculous, invasive. It was another level. If you guys haven't watched that video, I recommend that you watch it because I, I do not have words for the types of questions that you guys asked me. While I am still a little bit tipsy, a little bit, you know, under the influence, I'm going to try and spell out really complicated skincare ingredients. This is going to be really interesting considering that I used to be in spelling bees. I was in the counter spelling bee. It was really, really intense. I was hardcore about learning how to spell words. I have Mia and Maddie who are behind the camera right now. So they have divided these ingredients into three different rounds, easy, medium, and hard. Who knows what easy is going to be? I really don't know. They are completely surprising me with what these terms are. And if I don't spell them correctly, I have not one, not two, but three drinks in front of me. If you are under 21, you should not be drinking. You should wait until you are of age. Anyone who is watching this video who is of age, feel free to join me in a drink because God knows I would love some people to be drinking alongside with. <laughs> when it comes to skincare ingredients, y'all already know, if you have watched my videos, I am not the best at pronouncing skincare ingredients, let alone fucking spelling them. I'm genuinely interested to see if I can spell a lot of these skincare ingredients correctly. So to see how this all plays out. Your first word is azelaic acid. Oh, azelaic acid. Okay, I love this ingredient. A-Z-E-L-I-A-C space A-C-I-D. Final answer. Incorrect. No, as, oh my God. No, 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 no. Ah, Oh my God, okay. A -Z -A -Z -E -L -A -I -C space A-C-I-D. Yes, but you got it wrong. So I did it wrong. Trick. See, you guys can tell already. Oh, I'm already so tipsy. This is not a good idea. I, I accept that. I got that one wrong. So, cheers. Oof. Niacinamide. <laughs> <laughs> yes, niacinamide. One of my favorite ingredients out there. Maddie, the fact that you do not know this. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. We're all drinking together. Niacinamide. N-I-A-C-I-N-A-M-I-D-E. Niacinamide. Final answer. Yes! Woo! Of course I would know how to spell that ingredient. I love that ingredient. I'll just do my own horn, but you know, I, I do know how to spell that. Okay, hit me with the next one. All right, next word is glycolic acid. Glycolic acid. Love this ingredient. Super good exfoliant. A little bit strong sometimes, but I do enjoy the ingredient and a bunch of products to be able to help exfoliate the skin. So it is G-L-Y-C-O-L-I-C space A-C-I-D. Final answer. <laughs> yes, okay, woo! I'm trying to go back to my spelling bee days where you have to say like final answer at the end of it, if I remember right. It's been a while since I've been in the spelling bee. Your next word is sulfates. Sulfates, okay. S-U-L-P-H-A-T-E-S, -S. sulfates. Final answer. Um, <gasps> no! S Is it S U L F A T? <gasps> oh my god. That's such a simple one, too. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't get that one right. Oh, drink to that. <sighs> Guys, I, I'm really not good at spelling anymore. This is so bad. <laughs> Are we still in easy, right? I'm just gonna take it slow. Double check that I'm spelling all these words right. I'm not convinced I'm gonna do well. Next one is emollient. Emollients are great ingredients for like conditioning and moisturizing the skin, um, just to be able to help soften it and make sure that your skin feels, you know, that satisfying, plump, soft feeling that you want it to feel from, say, like a moisturizer or a moisturizing sunscreen. Emollient, E-M-O-L-I-E-N-T. Emollient, final answer. <gasps> what? There's two L's? Oh my God, this is, see, this was not a good idea. I'm really not good at spelling, bruh. This is so embarrassing. Okay, one sip, here we go. Woo. All right, next word is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is an amazing ingredient for really moisturizing the skin. It's a great one if you have dry skin or oily skin. It works for a variety of skin types, but jojoba oil is J-O-J-O-B-A space O-I-L. I just want to double check. I need to like make sure. <laughs> 
at least got that one right. Surfactants. Surfactants. Okay, so surfactants are cleansing agents. Typically, surfactants will kind of foam up on the skin. They'll give you that satisfying cleansing experience. Surfactants. S U R F A C T E N T S. Surfactants. Final answer. No! <laughs> my life! A-N-T-S, yeah. not E-N-T-S. Surfactants. Yeah. This was not a good idea. This, <laughs> this video was not a good idea. I should not have gone this route. Okay, I think I slipped to that. Ooh. <coughs> Maybe mixing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no hope for me. There, there really is no hope for me. Okay. Titanium dioxide. Okay, titanium dioxide is a sunscreen mineral filter. It creates kind of that white cast on the skin, but it's commonly used in mineral sunscreens. <sighs> okay, T-I-T-A-N-I-U-M-D-I-O-X-I-D-E. Final answer, titanium dioxide. Oh my God, I got one right. <laughs> All right, you made it through the easy route. Oh, thank God. We're on to medium. I mean, did I make it through the easy route? I really didn't. Yarrow extract. Yarrow? Yarrow. Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I don't remember the benefits of this ingredient. In my defense, I talk about a lot of ingredients on my channel. It's hard to remember all of them, but yarrow extract? Okay, Y-A-R-O space E-X-T-R-A-C-T. Yarrow extract, final answer. <gasps> oh God, what is it? Is it J? It's Y-A-R-R-O-W. Wow, I do not remember this ingredient whatsoever. I am so sorry, I really don't. I for sure talked about this in the video. It was in your first 220 videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that one. I, I'm sorry, I, I will drink to that. Okay, your next word is... <sighs> Can you pronounce it? <laughs> Mucopolysaccharide. This is medium level? Oh my god. I mean, saccharides can be really beneficial for the skin in terms of like helping soften the skin, uh, condition the skin. Muco polysaccharide. Okay. M U C O P O L Y. Muco poly. S A C C H A R I D E. Mucopolysaccharide. Oh I did it! Oh my god! That's not even a hard one. It's a medium level. Oh, but I got it. Okay, that's that's the most important thing. Next word is sodium lauryl sulfate. Yes. Okay, so this is an ingredient that I'm very familiar with. However, the spelling does trip me up because I already know that this one is a difficult one to spell. Sodium lauryl sulfate. S O D I U M L A U. R E L S U L F A T E. Sodium lauryl sulfate. Final answer. <gasps> okay, what, what is it? One letter off. It's L A U R Y L. Your next word is alkyloamines. Alkyloamines? I don't. I. I don't remember this ingredient. Al Alkyloamines? I'm gonna go according to Greek spelling. I, I hope that's correct. A-L-C-H-Y-L-O-A-M-I-D-E-S. Alkyloamides? Final answer? Uh, yeah. Is it not C-H? Is it K? It's K. <laughs> that's super annoying. Cheers. Okay, next word. Palmitoyl oligopeptide. I know this ingredient. It's a blend of, I think, palmitic acid and peptides, essentially. Peptides being great for the skin. P-A-L-M-I-T-O-Y-L-O-L-I-G-O-P-E-P-T-I-D-E. Palmitoyl oligopeptide. Final answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is really hard, you guys. Oh, I'm not in the right frame of mind for spelling. Oh. Miss Maddie over here is struggling to participate because of her I'm pronunciation, which I can relate to. I, I'm bad at pronouncing. Your next word is phenoxyethanol. Oh, okay. It's good for preserving the formula to make sure bacteria doesn't grow. Phenoxyethanol is one of the most common ingredients that you can find in skincare products out there. So hopefully I should be able to spell it right. P-H-E-N-O-X-Y-E-T-H-A-N-O-L. Phenoxyethanol. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! 
Yeah, definitely okay. should know that ingredient. I would be ashamed of myself if I did not know how to spell that ingredient. Galactobyces ferment filtrate. Fuck. Okay, I love this ingredient. It's great. You can find it in a bunch of Korean skincare because it's really good for the barrier of the skin. But I really don't know how to spell it. G A L A C T O M Y C C E S. F E R M E N T space F I L T R A T E Galactomyces ferment filtrate. It's gonna be wrong. No, yeah, yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Extra C, so it's only one C. One C. I always think it's two C's. <laughs> oh, okay. Spelling's getting harder by the minute. Just, yeah, bring the next one. We'll see. So you made it through medium. We are now going to oh, the hard. Good. <laughs> Your first hard word is gonna be phthalates. I'm, go I'm gonna destroy this because this term has always confused me. This, the spelling is uh, atrocious. So it is P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, phthalates. <gasps> really? Yeah! Oh it's such a weirdly spelled term. I, I don't understand it. I don't even know what origin that is. Let's add that to the repertoire of correctly spelled words, <laughs> which are getting lower and lower as we move on. Okay, the next word is hydrogenated polyisobutene. Yes. I have talked about this ingredient before. To be honest, I don't remember the full extent of its benefits to the skin. I think it's typically used in moisturizers. H Y. D R O G E N A T E D P O L Y I S O B U T E N E. Hydrogenated polyisobutane. Final answer. Yes! <laughs> I have to say, I am tipsy as fuck. At least I got one right in the hard category. I don't even know if I've gotten one right so far. Have I? Yeah, it's the first one. You've actually gotten three correct. I've gotten three correct? Yes. Okay, see, it's just not that bad, you know? Don't lose faith in me yet, guys. Thermos Thermophilus Ferment. Oh my god. Thermophilus. That sounds like the name of the girl from Princess Diaries, Mia Thermophily. <laughs> T H E R M O S space T H E R M O P H Thermos Thermophilus Ferment. Y L L U S F E R M E N T. I know I did not get that right. Final answer. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's a hard one, guys. You gotta give me a break. Ugh. Can we just say round of applause for Mia who took the time to go through my old videos and find out all these words and get the correct spelling for all of them. Round of applause. Woo! All right, your next word is Portulica oleracea oh, extract. God, I remember this ingredient. Ugh. Okay, if I remember right, this is a natural extract that can be beneficial for the skin for its antioxidant power, I believe. Portulaca oleracea extract. P-O-R-T-U-L-A-C-A -A space O-L-E-R-A-C-Y-I-A -A space E-X-T-R-A-C-T. Portulaca oleracea extract. Final answer. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Oh, I shouldn't have added the Y. Let's drink to that. Assuming y'all are drinking with me. I highly doubt that. Just hit me with the next one. My spirit is broken. Diheptal succinate. Diheptal succinate. Diheptal. 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 To be honest, I, I don't remember what this ingredient does. I think is in relation to succinic acid, potentially because of succinate, but I, I honestly, that's my only guess. D I H E P T Y L S U C C I N A T E Diheptal succinate. Final answer. <gasps> no way! Oh my god! Whew, whew, whew. My god, my brain is just not functioning right now, so I'm genuinely surprised I got that one right. All right. Yay me. All right, this one's got a bit of a toss up. It's got numbers in it. Oh, okay. Sodium C14 to 16, olefin sulfonate. 
I am familiar with this ingredient. It is a common cleansing agent that, in my opinion, when found in high concentrations, can be a little bit stripping to the skin. S-O-D-I-U-M C14-16 O-L-E-F-I-N space S U L F O N A T E sodium C14 through 16 olefin sulfonate. Final answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not totally mentally derailed. Sodium lauroil sarcosinate. S O D I U M L A U R O Y L S A R C O S I N A T E. Sodium lauroil sarcosinate. I got it wrong. I just know I did. What is it? Oh, we got it right? Oh! <laughs> wow. Y'all, I am really, I, I'm drunk. Trying to spell these is so hard. This is so much harder than I anticipated it to be. Final word. We're there. We're at the last term. Okay. Final word. Aluminum starch octanyl succinate. I have mentioned this in my videos before. Oh my God. I don't remember this ingredient at all. Okay. A L U M I N U M. S T A R C H O C T A N Y L S U C C I N A T E. I don't even remember the full term. <laughs> Final yeah. answer. Yeah, okay, okay. So close. Really? One yeah. Really? One letter off. E N. So close. I really shouldn't have done this inebriated. I should have done it sober. I feel like sober would have been hard enough, let alone drunk. Oh, Final drink. Ugh. Never in my life will I ever expect to, you know, have to memorize the spelling of all these ingredients, but it is encouraging to know that for a lot of them, I was somewhat close, and for some of them, I got them right. What is the percentage split? Like, how many did I get right versus how many I got wrong? I'm just hoping for, like, 50. 50-50 <laughs> is, is my best chance. In the easy round, you got six correct and four wrong. Okay, 60%. In okay. the medium round, you got four correct, oh. six wrong. Okay. And in the hard round, you got six correct, <gasps> four wrong. Oh my god, so I was above 50%. <laughs> You guys try getting drunk and doing a spelling bee of complicated ingredients and you let me know how it goes. This was hard. Let me know if you guys also were able to spell these correctly while I was spelling them. If you got any of them right, if you did better than me, feel free to shame me in the comment section down below if you guys did do better than me. I'm totally comfortable with that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.